If you're a regular expression guru, you've probably wished you could use regular expressions right within your SSIS packages. With the regex replace transform, part of the task factory suite of SSIS components from Pragmatic Works, you can do just that. For this demonstration, I've set up a simple table called taskfactory.regex. Inside I have three columns, strip dashes, dash to dot, and get area code. For the strip dashes, I want to remove any dashes that are in the phone number. For dash to dot, I want to replace dashes with a period which has become a fashionable way of displaying phone numbers. For the third column, I want to extract the area code from the data in get area code. So down here you can see I've loaded up two rows. I place the Pragmatic Works phone number in all of these columns. The first row includes dashes, whereas the second does not. So let's jump back here to our package. And you can see I've wired up my source. And we do indeed have our three columns. Now we're going to grab a regex replace transform. And we'll wire it up. And make it a smidge bigger. And we're going to open it up. For our first action on the strip dashes, we're going to replace matching regular expressions with a user defined value. For our pattern, we're going to use a pattern for a phone number. If you're not familiar with the way regular expressions are laid out, I highly suggest you go take a look on the web. There's multiple sites that you can go to that will explain regular expressions. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to enter our replace text. Now what we're going to use is what are called placeholders. Placeholders correspond to these values within inside the parenthesis. So when I use dollar sign one, it's going to apply to the first three characters. Dollar sign two is going to correspond to the second set, and of course dollar sign three is going to be the last four characters of our phone number. The way we had this laid out, it's simply going to remove the dashes and just display the phone number without them. So we'll click OK and OK. Now on the second one, we want to replace dashes with dots. So we're going to go to the drop down. We're going to do another replace. We're going to use the same pattern. And this time, for our replacement, we're going to use dollar sign one again. This time we're going to put a period, then dollar sign two, another period, and then dollar sign three. We'll click OK and OK. Now on our get area code, we're going to come down here and this time we're going to extract a piece of this information. So we're going to click here. Our pattern is going to be the same as before. But this time, all you want to do is extract the area code, which is simply our dollar sign one expression. Now, if we don't find this particular expression, it's going to return blank. Well, we actually don't want blank, so we're going to actually put in text under the no match value of NA. We're going to click OK. And instead of replacing the column, what we want to do is output it to a new column. We're going to click OK and OK. In the output, if we come here to right click and show the advanced editor, under the input and output properties for the output, you can see we've added one new column which is called get area code underbar output. Well, that's not very descriptive, so we can come here and simply change this to area code. And we'll click OK. Alright, now we want to see the results of our hard work, so we're going to come over here and we're going to drag a terminator and drop it in here. If you've not seen these videos before, the terminator is simply an ending point for your data flow. It's useful for demos like this because we can simply drop it on and open up a data viewer and add it. Okay, and we'll take a second just to kind of make this look nice. And let's run this.
And here we go. In our first column, we strip dashes. So here is the output on the first row, and the dashes are gone. In the second row, we didn't have any dashes, so it just passed the data on through. On the dash to dot, it has correctly converted our dashes to dots. For the second row, however, since it didn't find any dashes or matches for the expression, then it simply passed that value on through. For the third one, we were extracting a piece of data. So we were extracting the dollar sign one, which is 904, and we pulled it out and placed it in the new area code column. For the second row, however, it didn't find a match for the expression, so it returned blank, which we then said used the static value of NA4. And there you go. Just close this. Of course, we're not limited to just using phone numbers. We can use any type of regular expression we want to within our regex replace. So you could use this to extract, break apart emails, anything like that. The regex replace transform gives you an easy way to deal with regular expressions within your SSIS packages. To learn more about the regex replace transform or any of the other components within Task Factory, please visit us at pragmaticworks.com.